Hey everyone, this is the video where I tell you guys what I'm planning to watch for the fall 2019 anime season. So, uh, basically eight shows are what I'm going to be announcing that I'm reacting to in this video here. And I will probably also leave a comment listing them because that's probably what a lot of you just come here for. You just want to get that little quick information and then be on your way. And uh, it's not as if I'm actually going to say much about these individual shows. Mostly because a lot of them are straight up sequels to things that I've watched slash reacted to before. So a lot of it will just be, hey, this season two, this is coming out. Ain't that cool? Let's let's watch it, guys. You know, really not a lot to say about a lot of them. So that will be that. And a lot of what I do have to say in this video is just channel related stuff, you know. So now, like I said, I will announce eight, eight shows that I'm going to be reacting to in this season in this video. But as always, there will be three more shows that will be chosen by polls, two of them being public polls on the channel, one of which being a Patreon-only poll, which will take place after the other two. So this that's usually how I do things. I kind of had some some issues last season. I mean, the, the biggest one was I had this brilliant idea to make things a bit smoother, simpler, streamline things by having... The two polls as just kind of one poll, where it's like one poll with two questions. I just thought, hey, that's that simplifies things. I don't need two links. I just have one link, and people can vote on that one, and then this one, and it'll all be great, right? But uh, no, I pretty quickly learned that that was actually not a good idea, because the way it worked is you were required to vote on both to submit anything, so that really messed up the integrity of the poll quite a bit. So I will not be doing that this time. Rest assured, I definitely learned a lesson on that one. Also, I will probably wait a little bit longer than usual into the next season before I make the poll. I usually I usually wait long enough for the first episode of most of the interesting stuff to come out so that people have a little bit to go off of. But, you know, at least one person complained about that not being enough, so I figure I'll probably wait a little bit longer, maybe give two or three episodes a chance to come out. The only reason why I don't like didn't do that before was because that's a lot to catch back up on once I actually picked them up. It's like, okay, I'm going to watch this anime now. I got three episodes to watch, okay? I had to somehow work that into my schedule. So that's always fun. But, you know, it it will, it will should result in having better results from the poll, I, I would imagine. So that's one thing I definitely wanted to mention here. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, yeah, also, I am doing a thing called Listless Reaction now, where I... Which, those are basically just anime I react to in a very minimalistic way that's just little to no focus on being entertained and it's just me watching it with a camera on as opposed to watching it without the camera on. It's really just what it is. So if there are like a couple shows, after everything's said and done, all the polls are done, everything everything in the main roster has been decided, you know, including the poll stuff. If there's a couple shows where people tell me, hey, you, you would really like this show. It's a shame you're not reacting to it. Then I'll maybe add those to that. So there's also that, so if something does fly under the radar that I would very much like, just keep that in mind, you know. And of course, as far as the polls go, I some of the poll is based off of what people want me to see, so you do need kind of need to leave a comment on this video or any video really doesn't matter, but preferably this video, letting me know what you want to be on the poll, you know, preferably after you've already seen some of it, you know, I guess, but it's not really required. So, you know, that's kind of important because I'm not, despite what some people seem to want me to do, I'm not going to watch literally every show and then decide what's worth reacting to. I'm just not going to do that. So I just add some stuff to the poll that look interesting to me and then add some extra stuff to the poll that people seem to have interest in, you know, shows that people watched and thought it was awesome and want more reactions to it. So that's kind of how all this works. And I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Give me a second to think about that. Don't think I missed anything. Uh, oh, I mean, I guess there's one more thing. Uh, so I, I told you I started this whole listless reaction thing starting kind of last season, and I learned a couple lessons from it. So I decided to, for one thing, I'm going to be a bit more quick to drop things. Like, if a show is just not that fun to react to, or if it's just getting abysmal views and likes and stuff on the channel, then there will be two possible fates for it. It will either get dropped hard if, you know, I just don't care about it, or if it's a show that I do care about, but it's not popular on the channel, that could get dropped to a listless reaction. 
And it's possible if there's a listless reaction that gets a lot more positive reception on the channel than, you know, some of the main shows, then a listless reaction can straight up switch slots with a main reaction in that case. Because Machikata Mazuku from this season is kind of what told, really gave me this idea, because that show Machikata Mazuku does a lot better on view, on views and likes and stuff than a lot of the main shows. So it's, it was kind of a shame that that did get delegated to the listless reaction status, so... This is a kind of a way of solving that to where if something is kind of miscategorized in the end because of whatever reason, I can, you know, do a little bit of on the hand fixing part way through, through the season. So that's that's that. So I think that was the last thing I wanted to say. I'm almost positive this time. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into the things that I'm watching. So what do we have up here first? Boku no Hero Academia fourth season because more seasons of it is always a good thing. So, like I said, sequel, nothing much to say on this. My Hero Academia is a very good show, you know, really showcasing what shonen, how good shonen anime can be. So, I will certainly watch more of it when more of it comes out. So, Shokugeki no Soma, Shin no Sada. So, again, I watched a lot of this show. It was actually on the channel because I won a poll, you know, like 10,000 years ago, and yet I only finished it like maybe a season ago or so. And now we have more of it. Yay, you know, I thought it was done, but no, it just keeps coming back out. So, you know, more dishes are served, I guess. So that's, you can expect that. You know, I do enjoy the show, so I won't complain about that or anything. But there's there's a lot of it. There's certainly a lot of it. So, Bokutachi wa Bekyo ga Deki Nai 2. So this, the first season of the show actually didn't, didn't air that long ago. Like, I think it was the season before this one. I'm not positive, but I think it was. So pretty pretty recent so to get a second season that quickly that tells me that it did pretty well it's fairly popular and i very much did enjoy the first season it was a lot of fun a great cast of girls even sensei who i did not like at the beginning grew on me pretty quickly and uh, all the other girls are great too like there's no such thing as a bad girl in that show which is always a very very impressive thing with an anime because almost every harem anime or harem-esque anime ever has at least one or two girls that i'm just like okay this character has screen time now. Why can she, like, go away so this girl can be on screen? You know, most shows have a character like that, but, you know, not this one. I, I like them all. Anytime one gets screen time, I just think, cool, I get more of this character. It's great. So, that would be the third one. So, let's go. This should be number four. Radiant second season. Really not much to say on this. I reacted to the first season. And I enjoyed it enough to not drop it. So, I'll react to the second season. Simple as that. And another sequel. Uh, this might be the last sequel on here. I I don't know. I think so. High Score Girl Season 2. Again, I watched High Score Girl. It was a Patreon requested reaction, but I still enjoyed it quite a bit. You know, so uh, more of it can only be a good thing. You know, it's about video games. I like video games. It's got characters in it. What more could you want from an anime? So that was, was that fifth or sixth I've been losing track. Uh, yeah, that was fifth. Okay, so sixth. Watashi Norioku wa Heikinshi de Ita Yone. So this one, if I remember correctly, this one was about a character, like I think it's like an isekai anime where a girl wanted to be average, but because of some uh, miscommunication, misunderstanding, she was not not quite the type of average she was hoping for. So that was a little bit different. So that it sounds like it could be fun. So that's why it's on here. Uh, yeah, not much more to say about that. It's, it's you know seems like it'll be something I would enjoy. So, Ore o skina no wa omae dake kayo, which I think translates to something like, uh, are, "Aren't you the only one that likes me?" or something like that. So yeah, this one this one was mostly on here because well, it's like a comedy school anime, which is up my alley. And when I looked at the source material on my anime list, it had a pretty respectable score. And a couple of the threads I saw on the anime, one was like entitled to hype, and the other one was entitled watch this. So I figured, sure, I guess there must be something decent about it. So yeah, it's uh, that's why I'm watching it. And I believe this is the eighth and last one. Oh man, this one's a mouthful. Shinsho Yusha Kono Yusha ga Ore Tue. A very weird word. Seni Shinsho Sugiru. I don't think I actually read this name out loud until now, so I struggled a bit. But yeah, this one is another isekai anime, I think. 
And this one, uh, what was the gimmick of this one again? Uh, give me a second. I I knew I should have descriptions on on here as well, but I I didn't. Okay, I really just blanket on this. Don't worry, just give me a minute. I'll I'll find it. Uh, oh yeah, that's what this one was about. Okay, so apparently the protagonist is like super powerful, but also very paranoid, and that sounds like it could be interesting. You know, kind of reminds me of Ions and Orbital Lord a little bit in that regard, but yeah, you know, you can't you can never have too many isekai anime in a in a season, I suppose. So, and it was, and it was by Studio White Fox, I think this one was. So that's definitely another reason to make me want to watch it, because White Fox had made quite a few shows that I've enjoyed, so that definitely was a, a little bit of a push in its in its favor and i think yeah that is the eighth that i am planning on watching there will be three more that will be decided on polls so as you watch the new stuff in the season just think about what you would like reactions to i guess and let me know in the comments of this video preferably before i make the polls and uh and we'll get something worked out and once all that's your, your tail was on camera boots uh, once that's all done, you know, if there's some stragglers out there that you think I would think I would really enjoy watching, you can suggest them as possible listless reactions that always have the potential to be upgraded to main ones if uh, show if one of the main ones just disappoints me or you guys or both, you know. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now as far as all of that. So, so yeah, I mean, looks like a pretty decent season so far very sequel heavy season like just a crazy amount of sequels you know so uh, that that's all that's obviously pretty positive but at the same time you know hopefully we can get some good new stuff as well and there are two or three new stuff on here so hopefully they don't disappoint